Hi guys, welcome to this video about shave biopsy wound care. If you had a shave biopsy, then you yeah need to know what to do. So of course, if you get nice instructions from a good doctor, then you probably will follow these instructions. But sometimes you get uh, instructions which are no, not clear, sometimes they are not in a written form, you are losing that or whatever. So I got this from my dermatologist last time and it worked really, really well. I got other instructions from another doctor, didn't work so well. So this uh, was really awesome and yeah, it healed really uh, fast and the score is really nice as long as we can call a score nice but it's it's flat it's not recessed it's not higher it's not uh, hard it's not really ugly i mean uh, it's only two months ago and it's awesome if you touch it and you don't look at it you will never realize that it it, it was uh, shave biopsy so what to do here they say um, usually i mean you should get a bandage after the biopsy of course and you should leave it on uh, for at least 24 hours and the area should not get wet that's really important next day you may shower uh, as you normal would you have to be um, careful i mean uh, you don't have to protect it even if the bandage is not waterproof. Um, but do not scrub the wound, the wound. Never, I mean, not uh, not even during the shower. Here's the exact instruction. Just let soapy water run over it. And I have done this. I mean, usually that's just a, a small area. You can scrub the rest of your body, but not this area. So leave, uh, yeah, just do here uh, as here instructed. That's a really good thing. And after that, after showering, you uh, remove the old bandage and then pat the um, the area dry after uh, cleansing I mean yeah just actually uh, you come off uh, get out of the shower remove the bandage and then dry it with a really clean thing like uh, as clean as you have I was uh, using um, something like uh, from the kitchen uh, paper or something like that um, yeah after that it's really important to apply Vaseline or a uh, Aquaphor I don't know what it is I've never seen that I've been using Vaseline you can get that almost in every supermarket uh, definitely at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, whatever, or if you live in another country, Vaseline. I mean, this is used for baby stuff. Sometimes you really find it only in the baby section. And yeah, you don't need a lot and it's really cheap. And you put it on the area and um yeah there's the, the, that's it a little bit of vaseline on top of it the only thing is especially on the first day it could be a little bit uh, strange or annoying i mean it's a really a new cut area there's no really skin and probably it will bleed if let's say if you're doing the first time after let's say maybe six, 36 hours or so one and a half days could be still a little bit bleeding and that's a really strange uh, area I mean it's really super sensitive and you know it's no skin it's cut um, yeah it's a little bit strange so maybe it helps when you uh, use a q-tip or 
uh, anything which is uh, really sterile uh, you have to be careful what about from that uh, and it's only the first day at least in my case um, when I did the same thing second day it was um, yeah I almost could touch it like normal skin I mean just uh, very very fine very uh, not with strong uh, force of course and uh, but uh, you have to do this every day shower remove the old bandage and put on the vaseline and the new uh, band-aid or a uh, bandage until it's completely healed what is completely healed i don't know for me it was a little bit hard to um to tell i stopped it after seven days and it did not uh like uh, open again uh, there was no bleeding after that so i think maybe seven to ten days could be um a normal thing what i got after seven days i got a little bit of a skin rash because of the uh, bandage which i've been using maybe next time i would use something uh, sensitive you have to be careful when you have to use a bandage or band-aid for seven days in a row and it's probably a good advice to use something sensitive you can buy these in almost every store uh, sensitive band aid so for me it really worked i mean i'm not a, a professional i'm not a, yeah yeah a professional health uh healthcare employee or whatever not a doctor not anything i'm just normal people trying to help a normal person trying to help other people in the internet but yeah i hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you are in need to know what to do and if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time